uh, I've been asked to sort of go over the commonality of rights uh, between basically across the rest of the world besides Europe. Um, and having briefly looked into that as a possible topic, I realized that it was pretty much um, undoable. So I'm going to basically punt at this point. Um, and, and just sort of come with some practical advice. I mean, I think that that is really uh, what we're all here for, is to try and understand the, the scopes within which we can work from a practical standpoint. Um, you know, I think Thomas actually hit a lot of the highlights, that things need to be done in a, um, in a way that is, that is bottom up, where you are specifically granting rights. The things that work from a common standpoint across the world really sort of fall into a handful of buckets. There is uh, an international treaty on copyright called the Berne Convention that establishes certain basic elements of copyright throughout the world. Any country that is a member of the Berne Convention ha respects certain levels of rights. And so you can utilize some of the concepts that are inherent in, in the copyright laws of the United States or, or various uh, European countries as the basis for creating a contractual arrangement that at least gives you some comfort that you have an arrangement being established. And again, I think, as, as Thomas pointed out, what we're talking about here is really only those relationships that have been entered into voluntarily between business entities. Uh, you know, those, that kind of a, a, an arrangement where you've got business entities that come together voluntarily to create some sort of relationship is really the only the basis on which you can do this. Across the world, trying to uh, dictate what kind of rights or restrictions are placed on average users that encounter content as they wander around the internet, <coughs> I think is, is going to be virtually impossible. <laughs> so I think to start off with, I, I, I do think the thing to focus on is building a common set of contractual rights focusing on a handful of, rather of relatively simple um, rights concepts. I think this is something that, that the Creative Commons license structure does rather well. It utilizes some rather simple concepts to build a right structure that can be enforced in a, in a broad variety of jurisdictions. Creating uh, complicated right sets, things like uh, exclusivities or other kinds of, of complicated relationships, is not really amenable to a um, is that on? Okay. <laughs> uh, it is not really amenable to a, um, a, uh, a rights expression language based automated licensing system. Um, so I think, you know, that's where you want to start off from. Once you get to that point, I think you can start to think about uh, adding on handfuls of, of things. Some of the elements I talked about this morning, things like simple <laughs> statements about, juris uh, about jurisdiction elements or territorial elements, um, simple restrictions on uh, you know, various types of behavior to uh, describe the kinds of things that you don't want to have happen with your content. Um, again, I think it is important to remember that, that the safest course here is to try and stay within a relatively simple set of defined rights because that is the course that is going to work best from country to country. Um, I, I think, you know, Thomas hit a lot of the highlights that I had sort of considered talking about. I think it, it basically if you take his, his discussion and substitute the rest of the world for Europe, I think on many of the general points, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to cover the same uh, areas. So I don't want to get too far down uh, the road into specifics here. So I think probably the best thing to do at this point uh, is actually just take questions on it because the, the, the general area of cross-licensing in a worldwide jurisdiction really comes down to very specific, the very specifics of what a particular relationship is. Um, and it's, it's uh, having looked at it, it's almost impossible to offer you generalities. So I think I, I, at this point, I'd probably just be best to take questions on what anyone had. 